Let's see if we can fix this call. This comes out of a washing machine motor. And it's just a little pump and I've just taken it apart because it stopped working. Got a little stepper motor in here, it's actually quite cool. And uh, I just noticed this damage here. Don't know how the hell that could have occurred. Because this is normally in a pretty safe area, it's just that against the pump housing, so we're going to investigate that. I did manage to prise the core off. A bit of wiggling around. It's quite interesting, it's actually a flip call type thing. So I'll see if I can work out um, the amount of turns I need to replace on this particular call. Um, just to fix it, so just stay tuned. Mm, there's significant damage on a couple of these turns. So I'm going to unspool it and uh, try to repair it. And we'll try to carefully unspool it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I managed to unspool where it was broken and I found the point and uh, cleaned it up a little bit and I'm just start winding it up. When you do these uh, rewinding jobs, it pays to have some piece of tape already cut to the right length and uh, ensure that the windings had a little bit of damage. Um, I'll keep them separated out from the other turns and as the diameter has changed a little bit um, very likely that uh, they're not touching each other anyway, but yeah, can put uh, may apply a little bit of varnish afterwards. It is important that these two ends are going to meet up, um, that they sand it off a little bit so they make good contact. So I'm just filling around with that at the moment, turn them a bit, so because uh, that will be the weakest point. I just run a little file over here, you can use sandpaper, sometimes hot solder will melt it as well. I'll send it a little bit, use a file and a bit of sandpaper and hopefully this is going to work and the solder is going to stick because you've got the varnish you need to burn it off a bit. Let's see if the solder is going to stick. Not going to hold that smooth, just need to burn it off a bit. I'll check a continuity test on it shortly. I sometimes do is put a single strand of a bit of other wire around it. I'll see if I can do it on camera. It's a bit fiddly here. Do like a wrap. A bit more copper around here and then give it another coat of solder. And hopefully, solder smokers always amazing, it always goes in your face. That's all right. around it. And most important check for continuity. And we got 184 ohms, that looks pretty good. 
put it back together and we'll test if it works. A bit of wiggling but I got it in place and a last little push. There we go, it's in position now and now we're going to put it back on the device here. Um, that's where the as well, so I think that goes on here somehow. There you go. Yeah, it feels like this. Impeller is quite cool, you've got a magnet type thing in here, permanent magnet. It's like a stepper motor, two pole stepper motor. The gasket goes there and that's the receptacle, so the ecchi of water is completely sealed. Um, it has no bearing, I'll just put a little bit of grease lubrication on here. I'll put it back together and then uh, see if it works. Okay, the device is going to get inserted. Got a little stepper motor behaving now. I'll test shortly. Outside casing is back in place here. I'm going to go test one. See what happens. Okay, here we are to go. I'll bring it up to a little variac and see what happens. That runs. It works. Fix. Makes a bit of noise. But the housing is not on yet, so I'll let it run for a wee while. Just to satisfy that it is reliable. And here we go. It's just noisy, but it normally has to cost to deal with water. I'm not sure it's self priming, so I'm going to test it out. Okay, I've got a pump here, vet test, uh, output hose in the corner, input hose via funnel, and now uh, I'll do a quick test and see if the thing responds properly or not. I'll we'll see what happens. Let's stay here and we just keep this running. Energized device. Okay. I'm not sure you can see that. Pumps up here as well, which is nice. I think that's a successful repair and it makes a normal sound that it's supposed to make. Okay, well then I'll test for some softy border. Bubbles in the distance, hopefully you can. I don't know if you can relocate the camera. 